Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice of radio, so today I am bringing you word of a very weird, very unique, very unusual deck that I don't think any of you have really been talking about yet, but Takuya Yaneda, who is one of the best, most decorated, most well-known, etc. Japanese players, just went undefeated at a tournament in Tokyo, taking first place with this deck. It uses a whole bunch of cards which aren't actually out yet but will be in the not-too-distant future. Now, I should warn you, these cards are not coming in Lost Thunder. They were actually cards from Dark Order, which means that they will be coming out in Team Up, which will be our February set, so you do have a slight wait before you can go play in this deck. I also don't have a full deck list. However, I've got enough information that you should be able to make this deck quite nicely. So it all revolves around Zapdos, and when I told you about Zapdos, I told you it was a very good card indeed. Essentially here, for one lightning energy, you do 10 damage, but if it was on your bench and became active this turn, you do 80 damage, but you don't hit for weakness. Not hitting for weakness is annoying, but 80 damage for one energy on a non-GX Pokemon, I mean... I cannot be the only one that thinks that sounds pretty gosh darned good. And of course, it's not really 80 damage, is it? Because in Lost Thunder, we're getting Electro Power. And Electro Power is a great little card, which says that your Lightning Pokemon's attacks do 30 more to the active during this turn. So when I say it does 80 damage if you became active this turn, that is 80 damage before you start using stuff like Electro Power, Choice Band, etc. And of course, if you're playing Electro Power, you best be playing Electra Charger. Now again, all of these cards we're talking about in this video that have not been released, I will, well, not been released outside of Japan. I've made videos, I'll pop a link in the description. But again, Electra Charger is a card that I'm bullish on. Go back and look at my top 10 cards of Dark Order. These are like all in there. Because Electra Charger here, Basically, flip two coins. For each head, you put an Electro Power from your discard back into your deck. On average, that's one Electro Power per Electro Charger, which means if you're playing four Electro Power and four Electric Charger, you should, in theory, be getting eight of these a turn. Which is crazy good, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy over-the-top good. So that's pretty nice. But Zapdos isn't the only thing we saw played in this particular deck. We see Buzzwall. Now, it is a non-GX deck, so we are talking the non-GX Buzzwall. And if your opponent's got four prizes remaining, one fighting energy, 120 damage. The thing to remember is that if your opponent is forced to knock out single prize Pokemon because you're not playing any GXs, then they cannot avoid going down to four prizes remaining, which means you are guaranteed to be able to have a turn where you can use Sledgehammer at least one turn for a single energy. And look, Zoroark is still everywhere. And it's not out yet. It's not legal for tournament play anywhere. But don't forget the Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX is coming out. Well, that's got 240 HP and a weakness to fighting, so it certainly does sound like this will be a good counter to that. So, okay, so we got Zapdos, we got Boswell, what else do we got? We've got Jirachi. I am a huge fan of Jirachi. Again, it's one of the ones that came out in Dark Order, and I said that this was going to be teched into a whole bunch of different decks. And the lovely David Hockman, who I should mention is the one who clued us in on this deck, he was at the tournament, went 5-1 and lost his win and in, which is very sad. But good job anyway, David. And he tweeted out this picture yesterday of Jirachi with a skateboard. I have been talking Jirachi a skateboard since the first time I saw this card. Jirachi's attack is garbage and nobody wants to use it. But the ability says that if it's in the active, only if it's in the active. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose a trainer card you find there, put it in your hand, and then shuffle the rest of the cards back into your deck. Then you put yourself asleep, but of course you've got a retreat cost of one, and a skateboard lets you retreat even when you're asleep, so it's not a problem. And I said that after a Guzma, 
Chuck this up, use the ability retreat. When you get something KO'd, use this ability retreat. But also, there are a couple of cards that Yaneda played, which really do make the most of Jirachi. And they are Switch and Escape Rope. These are wonderful cards, because Switch and Escape Rope switch your active, although Escape Rope also makes your opponent switch, though they have a choice. And that means that you switch into Jirachi, use the ability, and then retreat. Remember, Zapdos needs to get in and out of the active constantly, so you don't want to be retreating per se. What you really want to do is switch because it's got a retreat cost of two. So you switch into Jirachi, and then you retreat Jirachi with the skateboard. Or you play an escape rope into Jirachi. You can have two Zapdos on the bench, and just switch an escape rope between them, that's fine. But it's so much better if you use Jirachi in the meantime. It's brilliant. It's a free trainer's mail every turn, except trainer's mail actually only let you look at the top four cards. This lets you look at the top five, so this is actually better than trainer's mail. And you do it every turn, and it's not an item card, etc., which is a little bit silly. Now, there are a couple of other Pokemon he played. Makargo should not surprise you. Makargo takes any card and puts it on top of your deck. There is a great little combo here, whereby if it's a trainer you're looking for, you can put it on the top of your deck using Makargo, and then it will definitely be in the top five cards, because it will be the top card, and then you can guarantee that you grab it with Jirachi. So I do like that very much indeed. So the makargo Jirachi combination here is pretty cool, but it doesn't have to be that. You can use Makargo to grab a non-trainer. But between Jirachi and Makargo, you should be getting your Electro Power when you want them, your Electro Charger when you want them, and just hitting great damage for a single energy on a non-GX Pokemon. The two attackers we've looked at so far are Zapdos and Buzzwall. They are both single energy, non-GX Pokemon. Now there is one other attacker we see here, and it's the non-GX Nialigo, another card of which I am a huge fan. Now, the thing about the non-GX Nialigo is it's for one Psychic Energy, and I said that if you're playing Psychic Energy, you need one of these in your deck. We'll talk about Energy in just a moment. One Psychic Energy, you can only use this attack if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining, but remember, if you're playing a non-GX deck, you can guarantee that there will be a time, well, unless your opponent loses before they have two prizes remaining, or they deck you out. So you're going to be able to use this. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it. It's literally Zoroark GX's GX attack except it's for a single energy on a non-GX. You can copy a GX attack. You can copy an attack off a benched Pokemon. You can copy whatever attack you like, and you are off and rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, it's beautiful. Now there is a second attack on Nihiligo. It's all right. One Psychic Energy, the defending Pokemon is poisoned and confused. It's not what you're relying on, but it's nice in a pinch. It's really here for the first attack. So this really is a sit there and smash with Zapdos while using Electro Power as often as you can. When your opponent's got four prizes remaining, in comes Buzzwall. When they've got two prizes remaining, in comes Nihiligo. Now, you do have a weird energy line here. You're playing Rainbow Energy because you've got a whole bunch of different attackers. You need Lightning for Zapdos. You need Psychic for Nihiligo. You need fighting for Boswell, it's got to be Rainbow Energy. Now, he did play Unit Energy here. There is a Unit Energy that does Psychic for Nihiligo and Lightning for Zapdos. Interestingly enough, also has Metal Energy, so you could, in theory, use Jirachi's attack here. It's still 30 for 2 energy, it's not good. But in theory, you could, if you felt so inclined. And I have checked with David, there were a couple of basic lightning energy here, but only a couple. Everything is a single energy attacker after all. Now in terms of notable trainers, we've talked about most of them. Switch and Escape Rope are huge, so that you can get your Zapdos in and out of the active. 
although really you're getting Jirachi in and out the active. And a skateboard is absolutely phenomenal here because you need to be able to retreat Jirachi again and again. Electro Power and Electra Charger for the extra damage we have mentioned. And the one extra card I'm assuming a lot of you have already figured out. He played Trina Punishment. It's a non-GX deck, of course. You're playing Shrine of Punishment here. That's one of the best reasons to play non-GX decks. I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that this new Zapdos was good, and I thought it was viable. I'm not entirely sure I thought it was this good. Going undefeated at a tournament in Tokyo, which was very competitive, is a little bit weird to me. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Evidently... It worked quite nicely indeed. So, I want to know what you think about this deck. I want to know if you think it's viable, if you think it's going to be good, or whether it's just Yaneda being Yaneda and being better than other players. Let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Go nuts, but please do remember the rule. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we look at transformers keyforge dragon ball all kinds of fun stuff but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.